Okay, hello and welcome to Dead by Daylight Body Swap. My name is Ben, aka The Iron Spine, and today we will be body swapping the Cannibal and the Dredge. So, the Cannibal's special power is Bubba's Chainsaw. You get three charges, and you can rev the chainsaw and start sweeping wildly with it, running forward for two seconds per charge. And, while you're already running, you can consume another charge to extend your reach, and every survivor you hit, because you can swing straight through them with it, gets knocked down from injured or from healthy to dying in one hit. The downside is if you rev the chainsaw too much, or if you crash into a solid object, Bubba has a tantrum. He starts flailing around with the chainsaw everywhere. You can barely move because your movement speed is so low, and the tantrum lasts longer if you've consumed more charges to extend the chainsaw sweep. He's still really deadly if you manage to hit a survivor with the chainsaw while you're having a tantrum, but it's really unlikely, and it usually gives the survivor a chance to get away. The dredger's special power is called Reign of Darkness, so you can use something called the gloaming to kind of phase out of reality and leave behind the shadowy remnant. And while you're in that state, you can teleport to lockers and emerge out of the lockers. You can do this up to three times because you get charges. Or you can snap back to where the remnant was. Obviously, this lets you get around the map really quickly. You can teleport to different lockers to find where survivors are, and you can hear things like wounded survivors, generators being worked on, anything like that. Even better, if you teleport to a locker that's already got a survivor in it, or has a survivor trying to get into it, you auto-grab them. Very, very cool and terrifying from a survivor's point of view. The only defense that survivors have against this is that they can lock the lockers. So if you teleport to a locker that's been locked, it takes you a little bit longer to get out of it, which can give survivors time to get away. Um, and if there's, say, a bank of three lockers and only one of them is locked, you get put in that one. That being said, when you break out of the locker, the lock is gone for good, and if you come up against the locker outside of it while it's been locked, you can just hit the lock to destroy it completely for the rest of the game. Finally, the dredge has another special ability called Nightfall. And what that does is basically uh, wounding survivors using the power, etc. That fills up the Nightfall meter. And when that gets to maximum, night falls. It becomes really difficult for survivors to see. It's like near total darkness for survivors. And the dredge can see really, really well, even highlighting survivors in the environment. More than that, the dredge gets undetectable so no terror radius, just whooshing when he gets close, which is really good for sneaking up on survivors. Uh, but more than that, the power gets a really short cooldown, I think it's four seconds. Plus, you can teleport much, much faster between lockers when you're looking for survivors. And if you leave a remnant or teleport to a locker, survivors within a certain radius of those points give off killer instinct as well so it's really easy to hunt them down okay so let's look at the cannibals perks so first up we have knockout knockout when you left click a survivor down into the dying state so hammer not chainsaw it provides various debuffs to the survivor so they get blindness so they can't see auras for a few seconds they get a reduced field of view and like a weird sort of deafened flashbang effect in their ears. Uh, other survivors can't see them when they're more than 16 meters away. They normally are able to see down survivors' auras, but they just can't unless they're really close. And their crawling and recovery speed is decreased as well. Next up, we have barbecue and chili. So hooking a survivor reveals the auras of all survivors outside of a 40 meter radius for five seconds. Amazing for finding your next target. Lastly for the cannibal, we have Franklin's Demise. So hitting a survivor with a basic attack causes them to drop whatever they're holding. And after 90 seconds, the entity depletes all the charges in the item. So it becomes useless and disappears. 
plus when you're within 32 meters you can see the aura of the item and you can see it turn from white to red as the charges are depleted it's amazing to be able to knock a flashlight out of a survivor's hand and then know exactly where it is so that that pesky little survivor when they go back to collect it you can cut them off okay so let's look at the dredges perks so first up we have dissolution so if you injure a survivor by whatever means there's a three second gap and then this perk activates for 20 seconds and during that 20 seconds if the survivor vaults a pallet it's instantly destroyed by the entity next up we have darkness revealed when you search a locker any survivor within eight meters of a locker has their aura revealed to you for five seconds and you can do this every 30 seconds lastly for the dredge we have septic touch so whenever a survivor starts healing within your terror radius they get debuffed with blindness and exhaustion so they can't see auras and they can't use exhaustion perks like blithe or balance landing and if you interrupt that healing action by making them stop because you're running at them for example those effects linger for another 10 seconds so without further ado let's body swap these builds and get into some games midwitch honestly not a too bad amount for dredge no it could be could be a lot worse all right dredge bubba body swap is begun Hi, uh... Ooh. I have eyes. They are, in fact, functional. Yo, I was a bit laggy, but... Hey, Macarana! Oh, oh shit! Seven... Ah, no. 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 we're fine. There's one. Barbecue and chili, S tier perk. Hello. Helping me get straight out of one chase into another. Gotcha. Knockouts, knockout. Like, I'm not doing a slugging build or anything. I'm not going to leave people down. But it does mean that if I have to break off one to go for another. I'll be able to... Ooh, okay. Uh, they're unlikely to um, get their mates up on the arena. Mm -hmm. ah! Sad. Oh, okay. I'm more interested in... on the other side of that wall. What? what? Three of them. Uh. Tip for the survivors, never lock all lockers. Right? Always, in their, if they're in groups, always lock one at a time, because he will automatically be pulled to the locked locker. Exactly, and then you've still got one that you can hide in. If you really, really need to. The Dutchman knows. Plus, if the dredge just sees that and knocks him off, that's it. You can't relock him. That was an okay, interesting man. choice, yeah. <laughs> 
Getting some value out of Franklin's there, taking that toolbox off her. It's probably already been used, but... Chili, chili, chili? No? No. Oh, hello. Hey, Denson. Very nicely done. Thank you. Oh, the double drop. Not nice. I want the one behind. That's it. That's it. God damn it, that one. Thank you. Oh! Someone's healing right in front of me. You having a laugh? I was going to chase her off that gen, but I mean, come on. Two over there. Hi. Very good, very good. <coughs> keep the items out of their hands, keep the pressure on with that knowledge from barbecue and chili. Yeah, I think Bubba's base kit, like, excluding Knockout, which I don't really like because it kind of encourages slugging builds. Um, I think Bubba's got one of the, the strongest base kits. I really like it. Oh, they're upstairs, lol. <laughs> Upstairs in the hall. What? I'm so confused. Down? They around? Yeah, they are. Hello. It's the Meg again. Hitting in front of me again. He thinks I have no ears. <clears throat> Oh shit, it's nightfall time. Hi. Ooh. Okay. This way. You drop that as well? No, you drop your med kit for me though. <laughs> Very good. What are you doing? You going that way? Okay. Oh, you brought me to your friend? That's not nice. Michaela! Look how she betrayed you, Michaela. It wasn't even a Michaela. Was it not? I thought it was Michaela. Oh, no, it was a Nia, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Two mags, a Nia, and a Kate. Lunch! Use your pallets. I care not. Use the ball! Stop bringing me to your friends! Let them heal! You are the worst! Why am I not in a chase? Why am I not in a... I don't understand why I'm not in a chase right now. That was weird. Yes, I was. Get another hook, see if we can get some more chili value. We can. We're gonna go 
over here, and then over there. Scritches. There she goes. Kate Denson. Why am I still not in a chase? What is happening? We're getting bugged. I don't know, man. <laughs> now I'm in a chase. What? Now I'm. Uh, it's only just then when Survivor found. Like, what? Hello? Okay. Uh, this way, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta run a couple of steps before you take those vaults. If you're gonna hide behind a pallet like that, you gotta sprint in circles or, like, you know, hide just to one side of it so you take a couple of sprinting steps. Otherwise, it will slow. It, no. Otherwise, it will slow vault even if you're holding that shift key or whatever it is for sprint. We're getting to that stage where they start to give up. It's really annoying. It was a fucking creaky bit of metal. I thought it was a wounded uh, feminine noise. Ah! Hello. No med kit for you. And lunge. Very good. Getting to drop those med kits. Keep that vision with chili. At the end of the game, people must be so confused. <laughs> yeah, when they see the body swap build and they're like, what is going on? <laughs> Why is this guy doing adept fucking bubba on dredge? Hello? Nice try. Come back. Oh. I, with these survivors, you didn't even have to use your power in chase. Not really. Maybe I think I used it once in chase. Yeah. So there we go. Cheeky little 4K with... Body Swap Dredge. <laughs> GG, survivors. RPD. Interesting. Alright, Bubba body swapped with the dredge, meaning we've got Darkness Revealed. And there's a dude on a gen on the other end of the map already. Oh, and there's one here as well. Hey, so there's two. Hiya. Hi. Guess it's Rebecca that's the lucky winner. Is this what we're doing? Okay. Do it. Okay. Dissolution. Dissolution. <laughs> <laughs> Nice flashlight. <laughs> Dwight. Dwight, Dwight, with his little flashlight, he's trying to shine it in my eyes. <laughs> Alright. 
We got the dwigged. We got some dissolution value. We did get a little bit of darkness reveal value, but we didn't actually go for the guy on the other end of the map. Because... What? They ran in and then didn't save him. Hello. Where are you hiding? Ah, there you are. Can you stop running around next to your friend? You're literally killing him. Just running around the door. <laughs> literally killing him right now. I'm curious to see uh, as to what gave her an endurance. Dead hard, I think. Oh, yeah. oh babe, maybe... Uh, babysitter doesn't do that, does it? Have they changed it? They, they changed it loads, didn't they? I'm looking at a wall. It's because I'm not a baby survivor. A uh, baby survivor. A baby killer. What are these two doing? I don't know. They must be swift to try and protect each other. And not doing a very good job. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> All right. That's two guys on their last hook already. That's regressing. That gen that the guy was on right at the start's been done, but that was kind of anticipated. That one's off. That one seems off. Let them reset just a little bit. Is that Nick Cage? It is Nick Cage. Hello, Nick Cage. Dramaturgy. Did he, did he dramaturgy? Yeah, I saw his legs go up. Ah! Bonk. He also exposed himself. No. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, that's funny. What? Oh dear. Oh, that's really funny. Nice flashlight. Cool. Oh, okay. You want to play, do you? I wouldn't be playing this cocky if I were on my last hook. I'm just saying. You can rescue Nikki Poo, it's fine. Oh, she's playing like Dutchy. She's greeting the pallet. Oh, she made it though. She made it. She went to the right. That's a long ass blind. God damn. She chained it. Yeah. Oh, red cliff. Very good. I should have gone with the chainsaw there, really, but it doesn't matter. Mm. Very hard to see if you do get any septic touch value. Um, mm. But it does punish them if they try and heal mid chase or whatever. But it's rare that you get a survivor that's cocky enough to do that. Oh, really? We're doing this? Really? You're gonna have to drop it this time, or you're gonna die. There you go. Oh, there's one here as well. Oh, lucky. Ah, oh, there's pallets outside as well. I pressed extend. Oh, come on, man! I feel like almost like the bots how they try to flab, find the edge down at the sides. Yeah, they're obviously. Uh you know, swift buddies trying to protect each other, which is, you know, fair enough, we all do. Hi. Oh, 
And that's one of them out of the game. At any rate. Mm. Up there. Mm. Go! I don't think I've seen the Jay. Just squirreling away on those. There he is in his pajamas. Oh, okay. They're swarming. Okay. <laughs> Bit weird. Are you trying to buy them time to complete the gen? Is that what we're doing? Yes, I see. Well, unfortunately, there's a hook right here, so... Hi, Dwight. Extend! Hey Dwight, Dwight, guess what? Gotcha! Get this one hooked up and then we'll head back over towards the main room. Do -do -do. I assume there'll be So they drop that, and then where would they go? There's two there and one up here, so... Oh, someone's plot twisting. Opa! Scritches. Yeah, they are. Hmm. Alright, well. Just go and check the gens. Ooh. There's a G. Check for dozens of them, maybe. That's the plan. Any survivors? Oh, fucking oh, hell. Both there, what? That is interesting. Uh, fuck, this way. Fucking RPD, man. Scritches. Scritches. Scritches, 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 scritches. Hey, I see you there. Oh, it's still the wares all over here. Oh, Nick, mistakes were made. He's not wiggling. Hmm. He's given up. Accepted his fate and let the Jake have a go at the hedge. Hmm. I wonder if we can intercept him. Darkness revealed. Reveal your secrets. No. Oh. Oh fuck! I've just seen him run through. Bastard. Oh well. That was a good game. Yeah, it's fun. So, which of these builds is better? Well, in terms of information, I'm going to call it a draw. Just because while Barbecue and Chili will show you survivors on most of the map, it's really good for information. It only triggers when you get hooks. Whereas Darkness Revealed, it's less consistent on showing you survivors, but it can be triggered a lot more often. 
so you can get about the same amount of value out of it if you use it proactively. So for information, it's a tie. In terms of game pressure, I'm going to have to give it to the hillbilly. And that's because if we discount our information perks, barbecue and chili and darkness revealed, then of the four that are kind of left over, there's one standout winner when it comes to game pressure, and that is Franklin's. Franklin's, you're going to be able to take away all different kinds of tools from the survivors and give them something else to worry about. If they've brought in a really fancy item that they want to go and get, that's going to slow them down even more. If you manage to get to them before they've used that toolbox, you might even be able to get rid of some brand new parts if you can let the toolbox burn down. Uh, you can avoid the flash saves by knocking torches out of their hands. And let's face it, you're going to be hitting survivors every single game. That being said, while the dredger's other perks do help exert game pressure, they do slow down the game pace a little bit and can help you close out those chases, they're just not going to trigger as often and they're not going to have as large an impact as Franklin's. In terms of raw power then, I'm going to have to give it to the cannibal again, and that's purely because while knockout is a bit of a dud perk in my eyes, barbecue and Franklin's are just so good and you're going to get value out of them every single game and they're really going to help turn those games in your favor whereas if we look at the dredge the only kind of standout perk that you're going to get value out of every single game is going to be darkness revealed because septic touch and dissolution are a little bit too contextual a little bit too inconsistent to really give the win to the dredge so it's going to have to be the cannibal on power alone in terms of flexibility, I'm going to have to give it to the Cannibal. And that's because while Darkness Revealed is a great perk, it gets edged out by barbecue and chili, purely because chili has a larger hitbox, if you like. Um, and if you're not getting those hooks to begin with to start that snowball, the game's already lost. And furthermore, 99% of games you're going to be in, the survivors are going to have items, you're going to get use out of Franklin's. Plus, when it pops off, it really pops off. You don't have to deal with those clicky clicky flashlight annoying survivors. You don't have to deal with brand new parts if you get there fast enough. You don't have to deal with them sabotaging hooks. You just knock the item out of their hand. And finally, septic touch for the dredge you won't necessarily see the value from it nor will you necessarily get value from it every game um, and the same is true for dissolution you might not get value from it and i think that this perk could really do with a buff they should either remove the three second kind of arming window of the perk or make the duration longer then it would be more playable but as it stands it's just too narrow a window too situational and not really that great unless you're doing a very palette centric build so for those reasons the cannibal is going to take it on flexibility too so which is the best perk overall well for me even after they removed the stacking blood point bonus that you used to get from barbecue and chili it's still one of the best perks in the game if not the best killer perk in the game giving you that information to create that snowball and chase down those survivors apply pressure so they can't get the gens done it can really help you chain the kills together exactly the same thing can be said about darkness revealed which also love the perk but the thing with darkness revealed is that it hits less of the map while it can be triggered more often, hitting less of the map is just too big a downside for me. So barbecue edges it out just a little, in my opinion. So that means that our overall winner for this body swap is going to be the Cannibal Adept build. Do let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And do tune in next time when we'll be body swapping the Doctor and the Death Slinger. See you next time.